Today we have a special broadcast in memory of Rose O'Neill Greenhow, a Confederate spy during the Civil War. We will be broadcasting an interview that we had with her several weeks ago. We have just been notified that she drowned on her way back from Europe. Hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest with us, Rose O'Neill Greenhow, a hero to the Confederates during the Civil War. Hello, and thank you for having me. Okay, so tell us a little about yourself. I was born in 1817 in Montgomery County, Maryland. I am 44 years old and married to my late husband, Robert. I have a full education, and before spying for the Confederates, I was just a common housewife. So what are your feelings towards slavery? Well, I grew up in a slave-holding family when I was just three years old. One of our slaves killed my father. From then on, I have been completely opposed to the abolition of slavery and granting equal rights to blacks. So what are your feelings towards war, and why do you think it's important? Because of my hatred towards blacks, I believe that war is important because we need to prevent the abolition of slavery. It is evident that I would do close to anything for this war because this cause is very important to me. So now you're a spy in the Civil War, right? So tell us about that. Yes, I am a spy for the Confederates. I was recruited in 1861 by Thomas Jordan. This was extremely uncommon because women are not supposed to be involved in the war. They are expected to stay home and do the housework. Now, what impact have you made throughout the war so far? Well, to give you an idea of what I've accomplished, Jefferson Davis, the Confederate president, credited me with winning the Battle of Manassas after I passed along a very detailed list of northern defense to General Beauregard in the South. Since then, I have continually been providing valuable information to the South, helping them gain an advantage over the North. Wow. Wow, that's quite an accomplishment. So, how do you go about spying for the South? Well, even before the war, I had had extensive contacts in Washington, D.C., after I married a physician and historian, Robert Greenhow, in 1835. My friends consisted of former presidents, senators, and generals. This allowed me to collect information about the North and their plans to feed that information to the Southern troops. So, we heard you were thrown in prison. What was your experience on, Joe? When I was in the old Capitol prison, I was cut off from the world around me. I was put in a 12, 10 by 12 foot cellar and slept on a straw bed. I ate soldier rations and all my outgoing mail was put through the chemical treatment so no information could be secretly hidden in the letter. However, I did have a special way of passing along information. My window could be seen from the street, so the amount of candles or how the blinds went gave information of my connections. The only thing that made prison better for me was that I had my daughter with me. So, so what do you miss most about life for that war? Before the war, I attended and had many parties, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Although, I still have connections in Washington. Lots have been damaged by my espionage. Another bad thing about war is that in my fights to help the South, I have been thrown in jail, which is not an enjoyable experience. Plus, I have a daughter, and it's hard to balance work at home. Now, when the war is eventually over, what do you see for your future and for the country? I definitely hope to settle down with my daughter and stop worrying about spying and getting thrown in jail. Also, I have an upcoming trip to Europe soon. I hope the South wins the war, and so if that's the case, I think we will end up in two different countries, the Confederate States of America and the Union. It may not be a bit of a mess at first, but considering we both have different presidents, I think it will work out pretty well. Okay, well, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Rose, and we wish you all luck. Thank you. Here's an, a reenactment of what we think happened in Rose O'Neill Greenhouse's death. Ah! Ah! Thank you for watching this special episode of GMA. And all my apple rations. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just